Welcome to Motion Product. My name is Michael. And in today's video, we're going to talk about connecting Stripe to Bubble using connected Express accounts. Connect is a product for Stripe that allows you to build a marketplace so that you can allow payments between a customer and a seller and for you to take fees for facilitating that transaction. So Stripe offers you three ways to set this up. And the way they allow you to do that is uh, with a standard express or a custom. Most um, applications on Bubble fall into either the express or the custom. Uh, leverage express here and the rationale for there is that uh, I can use the product onboarding flow from Stripe to capture the user's banking information and things like that. And if any regulations change or any extra information is required, um, Stripe will handle that and I don't have to do much on my side. So that's less work for me. And they also give you a link per user to view a very lightweight dashboard to view uh, payouts and money that came through the Stripe platform. So where do we start? We're lucky that Stripe has really good documentation for their product. And here I am on using Connect with Express accounts. Um, look, looking through here quickly, um, there's a demo and you can check that out on your own time. But they seem to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Five to six steps. Uh, this one looks like it's an edge case, so we might not have to do it right now. But five steps. Okay, let's, let's get into it. Step one, before onboarding your first account, go to your connect settings page to customize the visual experience of your brand color. If you click on settings and under connect here on the right hand side, there's uh, settings. You click on there. There's this area here around branding. This is what the users will see when they open up the um, screens that are provided by Stripe. Stripe wants to give you some tools to give your business name, um, but also ability to give an icon, any brand colors that you wanted to add to the thing. And once you're done making any changes, um, remember to click save changes over here. I forgot a few times and I was wondering why things weren't updating. So remember to click uh, save branding changes every time you make some changes. So, so if I did something like this, remember to click, um, Say branding changes. That's really helpful. Cool. So that's step one. Step two, uh, create an express account and pre-fill information. Um, we're going to do this um, by using the API connector. The API connector is a plugin provided by Bubble. And you can just add it through add plugins up here. So. When you see it, uh, you're going to click on add, add an API. And the first thing you're going to do is put an API name. I use the name Stripe Connect here to help differentiate it between the other Stripe plugins that may exist um, in Bubble. So I'm just going to expand that out now. And I'm just going to break down what these um, fields mean in the context of uh, stripes uh, documentation. So we have, um, so right now it's selected to node. I find it more useful to use this curl way so that I can see it as a key value um, setup, which is very similar to how Bubble has it in the API connector um, for setting field by field. So here we go. Um, the first thing we need to do is grab and the API um, itself, so the Stripe V1 accounts. You're gonna create a new, add a, add a call, and you're gonna call that uh, create express account. And I set mine as action, JSON, and this is where I put in that V1 accounts. For all of these uh, calls, I have this um, key value bearer, SK test, whatever. Um, bearer is something that you'll add in. Um, this SK encrypted thing will be different for each user. Uh, so yours will be different than mine, but this is just a, a secret key um, for 
using a stripe so that it knows that you are you are you and the, and right now it says sk test but once you go in the live environment uh, you have live keys and that don't have the test part in it so to find where those keys are uh, if you click on developers within uh, within stripe and click on api keys they're just right here so for, add the key value right after the word bearer and um this isn't this is test this is the real thing but right now i just have them both at the same thing in reality you'll have something different here for production cool so let's look at what's uh what they have here type equals express yeah, that's, and that seems easy, but you can also add more information. For example, if you're in the U.S., you might default it to the U.S. country. And if there's any capabilities of these accounts, then you want to ensure that they have. For myself, I wanted um, these accounts to be um, payable by card payments, transfers, and also an Australian bank account uh, direct debit. So that's why mine kind of looks different. I have country AU because in Australia the email address that I want to pre-populate um, is something that I'll probably take from bubbles and from the user's value and set that in the workflow and so I set that untick private and so capabilities I have transfers and card payments and this other Australian payments flow one one thing you need to pay attention to is set the body type to JSON and then click all these query strings and I didn't do this for a long time and it didn't work for me uh, so once you're done all that and you're set up with whatever you have you can call or initialize the call if it's your first time and you'll see something like this. If you get a screen like this, that means it's working. And what it's done here is just created a, an account because it actually called uh, something in, and called the API to get this structure. So this structure is useful for us to use um, in our workflow. Cool. So if you did something, if you didn't have this and you reinitialize the call, you probably get some kind of error like this. Um, so, and don't forget to click save, otherwise that red thing will still be there. So that's that call. Um, so that works. And the next one we want to do is create the account link. What we're going to need to do is have the account ID. And so we got that from the previous step. A URL to send the user if uh, they press refresh or they didn't finish the setup in time. Um, it's just like start back from the beginning and a return URL for successful uh, setups. So in the every application it might be different. So that gives you the opportunity to set up your path where you want to do and the key part here is account onboarding so these four fields are the things that we need to have in our api call so let's jump back into bubble and we're in we're going to create a new call i just called it uh, create onboarding link if i expand it out i have it as api v1 account links and for each of the four accounts, the uh, four parameters that we need, account, refresh URL, and return URL, and type. Um, this one I selected private so that you can't change it in the workflow. Um, but, you know, if you wanted it to be more flexible to allow other things, you can leave that blank. And these are just placeholders. And when you click reinitialize call, um, that'll be fine. So we go into our workflow, um, go into the design, click on edit workflow we can see that in my steps here I have one two three three steps to do it the first step we're going to do is 
uh, set create the express account here um, I've hard coded as hello at motionproduct.com but you can insert this as the current user's email address um, that's fine um, once that steps complete uh, you'll have the account ID uh, so then I store that as the current user's uh, account ID um, to uh, save it and then from there we can take that account ID and create a onboarding link um, and we're just passing the parameters over to the uh, what we set up previously, so the account and the two URLs that you want uh, to go to. And once once you have the URL itself, um, you can create an event. This is something in Bubble called Open External Website. And you just give it a destination. And for our example, we use uh, the result of this uh, steps euro and that's it to set up um, the flow to connect stripe express and now let's see it in action now we're going to see this work in action so create stripe express account now we're in this page um, this is what users will see um, you can see the branding that you added before, the name change, um, the email that um, is taken from the workflow. And here, I'm just not going to use my real phone number. I'm just going to use a test phone number for because this is test mode. Click continue. I'm currently in test mode, so yep. So here you can tell um, whether the person's uh, individual or company and uh, to make life easy I would just say individual for now so you can fill out all this information and so my name is Michael um, date of birth 26 four, three. So they handle all the data validation for you. That that's really good. So Cindy, state in New South Wales, postal code. Yeah. So phone number. So here you should add your real website. If you don't have a website, um, you can use a so social media profile, your Instagram, Twitter, um, that would work. Um, and now here is where the bank accounts come in. So you can add in any bank account. Um, this is for Australia. So I'm setting up so that they can get payouts to their bank account there's something missing here and let's check what that is proof of identity uh, so stripe way ask the users to verify their ID this is something you don't need to build this is something that stripe will do for you and depending on your area and region there might be different verification steps here um, so that's great and the beauty of all that is mm, these screens here, you don't have to build. This is part of Express. That's good. So now I'm done. And it's going to take me back to my return URL that I set up previously, which is back to the application. All right. And once you've uh, created the account, um, as the platform you can actually see the connected accounts that you just created so that would be within this menu item within stripe under connected accounts and this is the account that we just created right now and we can see that if we go down to here that was what we just created uh, motionproduct.com and with all these different types of capabilities available card payments um, debits 
and it's ready to use so this would be this would be the same value that you would be saving to your database in the previous step which was over here under save changes stripe account id if you found this video helpful please consider clicking like so that other people can find video content just like this and if you want to get updates on the next time i upload videos similar like this or if you have an interest in a no code space please click subscribe hope to see you again next time so we can build better products together bye